long, long time ago. Started riding, really liked it. Uh, wanted to start racing. I actually had a pretty severe accident where I broke my back, which postponed that, but I eventually got back into it. Uh, the second round started about 30 years ago. That's when I started hanging around bike shops and learning more about the races and how to get into races. Uh, kind of very quickly learned that uh, nobody cared about my bike more than me and I always did a better job than paying somebody to do it. I've done road racing, uh, which is the thrill of speed. And, you know, you work together with other cyclists and you can go a lot faster than you could by yourself. Uh, found out I was better off-road and it's just the technical aspect of it, uh, getting over obstacles and then putting difficult things in your way and finding easy ways to get over it. Just a lot of fun all the way around. It tests your skills. It starts out by having different bikes for different jobs and you fall in love with one and you don't want to get rid of it. It turns into a collection. Actually, my cyclocross bike I'm very proud of. And just little things like having a diamond studded headset spacer to make it look cool. Uh, my bike is majorly modified. Actually, a friend of mine gave me the frame and I kind of built it up from there. Uh, hand built wheels, very strong, which you need bouncing around the potholes. Uh, lighting is probably the biggest issue while commuting. Powerful headlight, nice tail light, and for gaudiness, accessory lights. When I was younger and racing competitively, um, I was putting about 10,000 miles a year on the bike and about 3,000 miles a year on the car. And the 3,000 miles was getting back and forth to bike races. Uh, now they got, have gotten a little older and I'm not as serious a competitor. Not going to races, didn't need the car anymore. So it's just turned into a big waste of money. So I probably still put on about 8,000 miles a year. Everybody's got a, a different way of viewing their bikes. My sister's done a little bit of commuting, but just a little bit. Uh, actually, I'm pretty proud of my youngest daughter. She has uh, a commuter as well. Uh, she also lives in South Philly and commutes around Philly.